I guess Thomas the Tank Engine being turned into a Transformer is a popular silly thing with bootleggers, so here we go again, another Transforming Thomas, this time the Bump and Go Edition. <laughs> So of the Thomas tank engine bootlegs I've looked at, this is probably the most convincing box as they've even got the Thomas and Friends logo on it. I mean, you just have to ignore the fact that he's a transformer. Bump and go action, stop. Oh, look at that train smugster face. He loves the bumping and going, but he better get ready to stop because the track's about to abruptly end on him. All right, I know this is pretty difficult, so everyone better study up. This is train shape. This is robot shape. Got it? So I guess the official name for this toy is Deformed Thomas, Electric Transformers Train Series. As we know from a lot of these bootlegs, they keep putting deformed or deformation on here because it's kind of a mistranslation of transform. So that kind of makes it extra silly when they have deformed on here, but then they have transformers right under it. Deformed Thomas takes three double A's and was made in China, and I guess they really had to lazily change the item number on them. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of nonsense text on here, but we do get a little bit on the top of the box. Classic cartoon image so that children fondle admiringly. They fondle the image? All right. Strengthen the interaction between parents and children. Can you put batteries in this for me? Eh, thanks. That strengthened our interactions. So there's our weird deformation Thomas out of the box with this kind of peachy face instead of the gray it should normally be. In train mode, deformed Thomas is kind of lopsided because his train wheels aren't the actual wheels this thing uses. The main motorized wheels go down further than the train wheels and then there's these secondary ones for him to roll back onto. He's number one. I mean, Thomas certainly thinks so. Look at that face. That's the face of your nightmares. Thomas is carrying some weird clear cargo. Maybe this is supposed to be like Energon cubes. I mean, he is a transformer after all. Deformed Thomas has one of those inconvenient battery covers with the screws in it that I never appreciate. Why is there crud in the battery compartment? This thing is new. All right, Thomas has got his energizers. Let's see what he can do with them. <laughs> Well, no Gondam style or any other ripped off song, just kind of train noises. That's rather pedestrian. And I guess Deformed Thomas certainly follows the motto that two heads are better than one. I mean, all the other cool Thomas tank engines think that, right? So, uh, Deformed Thomas certainly does have a rather interesting robot mode. He's just really into working on his calf muscles, I guess. Some amazingly thick legs you got there, Deformed Thomas. So, now let's see how well Mr. Deformed does on a smoother surface. Well, it's like the bump and go action sort of tries to stop it from throwing itself off the table, but not very well. Oh, oh, nope. 
<laughs> Immediately tries to throw himself off the table again. So it really seems to depend on just how these wheels kind of catch the ledge, whether deformed Thomas is going to throw himself off it or rebound like he's supposed to. So you can kind of force him to transform with the battery function off, but he's just going to spring right back into robot mode. It's kind of the same thing when he's in train mode. You can sort of force him up into robot mode, but it's going to just spring right back into train mode, and it doesn't really want to move as nicely when he's stuck in train mode. So there we go, another ridiculous transforming Thomas with his train face kind of in the way of his robot face. Of course, bump and go deformed Thomas is no match for the original Magazord slash Transformer Combiner Thomas set. I mean, he's the OG ridiculous transforming Thomas. Oh look, I just found a cool alt mode for deformed Thomas. This is like his Gurwalk mode. It's halfway between his two other modes and looks stupid. Yeah! The paint job is accurate to Thomas the Tank Engine for the most part. There are a few unpainted details though and the overly peachy face is kind of off. It's got some nice bright lights and it transforming back and forth being part of the battery function is kind of neat. You do probably want to put it on the floor for that bump and go action though. Seven. Well, they transformed Thomas the Tank Engine into something else, a transformer. But apparently that's the thing almost every bootlegger thinks he should be. You can get yourself a deformation Thomas or there's another version of deformed Thomas that comes with train cars. Seven. Well, regardless if it's been done before or not, it's still a rather strange thing to see Thomas be transformed like this. Eight. The box is fine. It copies a bunch of legit Thomas and Friends elements and has a couple of amusing blurbs. Five. Well, if you want a Thomas the Tank Engine Transformer, this is one of the many options. It's a wonderful toy though, I guess. It lights up and stuff. Seven. And the bootleg zones overall is eight! I love all the silly Thomas the Tank Engine Transformers and this one is pretty neat with its self-transforming gimmick. We now return to the continuing adventures of the Trainformers, less than meets the eye. What? Uh, I'm stuck. What? Come on, come on, go, go, ah! Transforming is hard. Deformed Thomas, I'm better than you. I just want you to know that. Where the bloody hell does he get off saying that to me? I'm the deformed one. And I can't see very well over my other stupid face. See? Better than you, better than you. Wait a second, what the deuce? Who the hell is that? Uh, oh, um, I'm just Mr. Conductor. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, he's got me convinced. That's because you're a deformed idiot. Listen here, Megazord Thomas. I'm totally not deceiving you. Now come with me to the park. Well, it goes against my better judgment, but okay. Well, here we are at the park, I guess, and I have something to inform you two of. I tricked you! Gasp! I can handle this! Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm really Starscream. What the what? I know Starscream. I've worked with Starscream in the past, and you, sir, are not Starscream. Oh, get on my level, you two idiots. I'm Pretender Starscream. Oh, yeah, just like I'm Deformed Thomas. No, it's nothing like that. <laughs> See, the disgusting flesh creature was just a facade. No, I Starscream am the ruler of the Trainformers. But it's exactly like me, Starscream. See, I'm a train and then boom, I'm a robot who's not really good at anything. Shut the hell up, you deformed freak. Rather rude, old chap, to call him the deformed one when you're the one parading around in a human suit. 
What do you mean it's rude? I am the deformed one. It's my name. Ahem. Anyway, you two idiots have to follow me now. Uh, what? Why? Because I fooled you two into following me somewhere. Well, seeing as I am part Megazord, I do get the logic in what he says. I mean, that is a great plot from Power Rangers. I've got nothing to do with Power Rangers. I ain't listening to him. But what if I, Sound Recorder, and Titanic Bot also tell you you should follow Pretender Starscream? No, not convinced. Bad, bad changer. All right, I'm convinced.